hitting irons off the turf versus off the tee. A lot of golfers are curious about it. We're going to hit some shots today and find out with TrackMan. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we're on the driving range. It's a beautiful spring day here in Minnesota. And we're gonna to touch on a topic that a lot of golfers are curious about. Uh, when you go up to a par three, oftentimes golfers with an iron will tee it up a little bit. But how much does that actually affect the golf ball when you hit it? So Thomas, I know competitively, you're playing quite a bit in tournaments. Um, it, I mean, do, have you, is this something you think about when you're out there on the golf course? You got a par three, an iron in hand, and you tee it up. Do you think that changes anything? Um, do you have a theory on that maybe? Yeah, absolutely. I actually do play that shot just a little bit shorter if I tee it up a little bit. It depends on the golf club. For example, if you're hitting a four iron off the tee versus off the ground, it's going to be a little easier to hit that mm -hmm. four iron. If you're hitting a pitching wedge off the tee or off the ground, then it's probably not going to be too much of a difference. But I would expect more of a difference with the four irons versus with your shorter golf clubs. Yeah. One thing I've kind of maybe gone with is about two or three yards just play that that shot two or three yards when I'm teeing it up okay interesting because I know I'm I'm actually I have no idea and I've, I think you've mentioned this before when we were kind of warming up here is you know with a wedge maybe on a really short par three you might just play it off the turf anyway um, but I know on longer par threes where I need a longer iron I for sure want that thing teed up just to get cleaner contact but I'm curious what TrackMan tells me today because um, this will be a good one I think a lot of golfers will learn something yeah, I would be worried teeing up with a pitching wedge because I'd be worried about it getting a fly a lie or all of a sudden it was going really far. But I've only got 120, 130 yards. My wedge game's pretty good. Yeah. It's easy to hit the ball off the ground, so that's why I'd play it off the ground. Sure. Well, today I'm going to hit some shots with my stock 8 iron and my stock 4 iron, both off the turf and off the tee. We'll see what TrackMan tells us is the difference between the two. Uh, again, I'm very curious and I'm excited to get going here. Yeah, this will be fun. We've never tested it, so who knows? Sounded crisp. Sounded solid. A little more ball speed. Yeah, that is at the target. It's a tad thin. A little bit thin, but yep. it's one I'll get away with on the course. Okay, so taking a look at the numbers here, your club speed was about 91.2 miles an hour. You're hitting eight iron. Ball speed 118.1, efficiency 129, and spin rate about 85.66 on average. Carry 157.4, going 160. So okay. hitting off the turf. I know there's a couple you didn't maybe catch perfect there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a couple. I think the last one was a little thin. Um, I think I think maybe my first shot was maybe a little out to the right, a little kind of an open face. So the extra spin isn't terribly surprising, but it's probably a little bit too much. But um, yeah, that's, I guess that's, you know, those are just the stock numbers from 8-iron. Well, I'm curious now, my hypothesis would be maybe a little bit more ball speed, possibly a little bit less spin, maybe a little bit more easy to hit the ball off the tee than off the turf, but mm -hmm. we're, we're about to find out and, and see what happens. Uh, so your club speed is about 91.2, so we can keep that speed about the same. Okay. We'll see if there's any differences. All right, sounds good. You hit it well. Right off the bat, we're seeing a lot more ball speed there, and your efficiency, you one three six on that one. Wow. Yeah, so definitely jumped a little bit there. It definitely felt the best so far. Interesting. They're all a little bit left of the target so far. Mm -hmm. Once again, a little more ball speed, a little higher efficiency, and a little more spin. The more spin has been the surprising part for me so far. Yeah? I feel like it's going a little bit higher too. Okay, so really interesting taking a look at numbers here. My expectation of more ball speed, I was accurate there. You mm -hmm. generated actually about four miles an hour more ball speed and your club speed was only 0.3 miles an hour. So you did hit it more solid off the tee. Okay. Uh, we also kind of noticed your dispersion circle. It was going a little bit further but it also has gone a little further to the left as well. Mm -hmm. You're leaving the face a little bit more open maybe. I mean, they're both down the left side, but it was just more consistent there with the, with the red circle where the blue circle was a little bit more left and right. Okay. Kind of notice there. Um, efficiency, because your club speed was the same and your ball speed was higher, your efficiency at 134 versus 129. Wow. So big, big difference. The one hypothesis that I got wrong though is spin. Yeah. 
So generally speaking, with a driver, you tee it up high, you hit up on the ball, it's gonna spin less. Yeah. Well, with an iron, kind of interesting here, your spin rate was actually 800 RPMs more. Really? So 93.59 wow. versus 8566. So that's kind of interesting that the ball was spinning more. My concern actually when I'm playing is, especially I'm hitting a wedge, getting a flyer, all of a sudden it's not gonna spin. So that's really interesting, the fact that the spin rate was higher, at least retain mm -hmm. the spin rate. Yeah, interesting. I And now I will say too, just as a player, with an eight iron for me, I was just like, there's more confidence too. Ball's teed up off the ground. Um, so it, that could have influenced me mentally a little bit in terms of swinging a little bit uh, more confidently, I guess. But yep. interesting that, you know, I didn't expect that much of a difference in spin. I, that surprises me. I mean, it felt like a cleaner strike through. So I guess that's kind of maybe dependent on where you catch it on the club face a little bit. Uh, you talked about height. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you feel like it was flying yeah. a little higher. It was 11 feet higher okay. off, off the tee. And then your dynamic loft, this is always interesting because I, I always like looking at dynamic yeah. loft and compression. Uh, your dynamic loft was actually higher off the tee and lower off the turf. But you're talking about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 degrees. Okay, so not a huge difference. Yeah, but you think when the ball's on the ground, you want to try and compress that. You yeah. want to kind of hit down on it a little bit. Uh, so that was kind of interesting that the dynamic loft was less off the turf versus okay. off the tee. So that again is kind of maybe a mental thing when you look down, you got the ball off the turf, you maybe do want to compress it a little bit more and you're kind of thinking that in your mind versus off the tee, you can kind of you know, maybe sweep it a little bit more. Yep. And then let's take a look at your attack angle. Let's see if there's any difference there too. Uh, you actually did hit down on the ball more off the tee than off the turf. Really? Okay. I actually thought you might have been actually, your attack angle might have been really? more off the ground. but. It's kind of interesting there, and we're talking minus four to 0 0.7 to minus 5.4. It's pretty okay. normal for an eight iron, yeah. kind of right in the middle is you're not, not a picker, but you're not a digger either. Sure. I thought that there wasn't maybe as much turf interaction off the tee, but oh, for sure as not. we can see there, your attack angle actually was down a little bit more. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so eight iron, we saw a little bit more ball speed, the ball went a little bit further. We're talking three yards. Look at that, that was a pretty good guess. That's exactly what you said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's almost like you know your stuff. Yeah, so yeah, when, I, when I'm playing outside, yes, the ball, generally speaking, goes about three yards further okay. off the tee. That's, that's at least how I've played it in the okay. past. Okay, now let's see four iron. Okay, perfect, yeah, I wonder how that's gonna go. That one have struck well. Okay, uh, Drew, four iron. Uh, one thing I didn't notice, your dispersion pattern got a little bit larger. We'd yeah. expect four iron's not as easy to hit, is yeah. it? Eight iron, we got five shots in there. Uh, we noticed that your club speed was 101.4, ball speed 144.3, so your efficiency was 142. Okay. So generating a decent amount of spin today, you're hitting that little fade. Mm -hmm. uh, your spin rate was 53.86, carry 214, going 225. Okay, interesting. I guess none of those numbers really surprised me, um, but, uh, off the tee now, I'm curious, because I think we're at that point now in the bag where, you know, like a four iron, for example, is a pretty common club people will use off the tee, myself included, on a hole where it's maybe, you know, tight fairway, you gotta lay up to a number, things like that. I think we're getting to that spot here with four iron. Yeah, I would probably hit four iron off the tee at least probably once every one or two rounds for sure. Okay. If it's a shorter par four, trying to play it to 100 yards, give myself a nice wedge into the green, yeah. as opposed to trying to hit it out there by the green and bring trouble into play, essentially. Yeah. So, this is a good spot. It'll be interesting to see the differences off the tee. A little less spin, what we kind of noticed there. Usually a good, good well-struck shot, the tee goes backwards. Well, that was kind of <laughs> well-struck, but... That one sounded solid. That one was the best shot today. Yep. Same club speed. It'll be interesting to see what happens here, ball speed and spin. That was the most pure shot of the day, I think. Mm -hmm. 148 efficiency right there. 150 ball speed. Yeah, Pretty good. That'll do. Another good one there. Yep. Okay, so great testing here. Your club speed was identical. 101.4 with both off the tee and also off the turf. So this would be another really mm -hmm. interesting test to take a look at ball speed and efficiency. Do you feel like you hit the ball more solid off the tee? Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially, I think it was much more noticeable as you predicted uh, with four iron though. I'm, I, don't, I haven't seen the numbers. I don't really know exactly what the differences are, but I, it just seemed like it was just going a lot more with the four iron. 
Yep, so we're, we're seeing another jump in efficiency. So your ball speed jumped by three miles an hour. Uh, your smash factor went from 142 to 145, so a little bit higher there as well. This time off the tee, the ball did spin just a touch less. Okay. Now you had that one that you kind of, maybe the one's just a little bit left of everything else there, it probably brought the spin rate down a okay. little bit. Yep. But it's not a huge difference, as we're talking about 270 RPM difference between the tee and the turf. Okay. The big difference was the ball did carry about nine yards further, and then kind of go on about eight yards further overall. Okay. So, so interesting, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like going in and you, you did prick this too, but you know, you're going to expect a little bit cleaner contact, which will result in more distance um, off the tee if you had to even teed up just, you know, what, a, a centimeter, a couple centimeters off the ground, you know, um, that's, it's going to make that much of a difference. And so I, again, it just for me too, that, that piece of confidence that you get hitting with the, the ball a little bit elevated off the turf, I think it does make a big difference. And it, I think it will for a lot of golfers too. Yeah. And once again, it did fly higher off the tee as well. We're talking off the turf, you're flying at 95.2 feet in the air. 118.2 oh, wow. off the tee. So that definitely did jump up a little bit there. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it was flying that much higher and the spin rate wasn't much higher yeah. either, which is kind of interesting. And then you can kind of see your dispersion pattern. I'm looking at the green circle versus the purple circle. The uh, green circle was definitely more consistent. That's when you're hitting it off the tee. Okay. So a little bit more consistent on that carry distance yeah. overall. Yeah, and I think yeah. this is part of the debate too, where maybe four irons, five irons, I mean, three irons for some people, it's, it's tougher to hit. Um, in general, but then especially if you get off the turf, uh, keeping it consistent is just, it's a more difficult club to hit. And so I think that's where you'll, at this part of the bag, you're really gonna see the difference off the tee versus off the turf. Yeah, one thing I also noticed is you were, fi you were fighting a little bit of a fade yep. today. Uh, what we kind of noticed when you hit the ball off the tee, it wasn't fading as much because you were getting a little bit more solid contact. Yeah. It was fading more when you were hitting the ball off the, off the ground as well. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. I think, you know, my takeaway from this is that there's certainly a difference. Um, and it's something to consider when you're teeing it up on whether, I mean, I guess on a, with four iron in particular, on a short par four or something, you need to hit a, a shot um, to a yardage. It's something to keep in mind because I think, what was it, nine yard difference there for carry? So, and then on par threes as well. It's something to keep in mind when you're teeing it up. Your stock yardages might be a little bit different um, off the tee versus off the turf. Yeah, if you have an eight iron in your hands and you're not taking consideration that you got that ball on the tee, ball flying three yards further, that's 10 feet away. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a longer putt on the green or if it's a back flag, the ball might trickle over the back or uh, it might yeah. come up a little bit short if you can get off the ground there too. So one thing to kind of keep in mind is three yards is three yards. It really does matter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Thomas, thank you for joining today, helping me out with this. I think golfers will take away from this uh, quite a bit of information uh, in their next round of golf. Yep, this was fun. <laughs>